Hello friends, Pushkar here, back again with another video. In this video, I will talk and show a working demo of AWS Lambda new feature that is Lambda function URL. So without any further ado, let's get started. As you know, many companies are now adopting microservice architecture to build resilient and highly scalable applications. To make a serverless application, these companies use AWS Lambda. The serverless application using AWS Lambda consists of multiple Lambda functions to implement business logics. And these Lambda functions are then mapped to an API endpoint or AWS resources like Amazon API Gateway or Application Load Balancer. But this is really an overhead to configure the API Gateway or the Application Load Balancer along with the Lambda function. So now AWS Lambda has come up with a new feature called Lambda function URL which let you add HTTP endpoint to all the Lambda function and also configure the course header, CORS that is Cross Origin Resource Sharing headers. So now let's see a working demo of it. So this is the Lambda console. Let's create a Lambda function. So let's take the name as my function test. And I'm using runtime as Node.js. You can use any runtime function, any runtime environment like Java, Go, Net, .NET, Ruby, Python. Okay. I'm choosing Node because it gives you an online editor. So you can edit here. Okay. In console. And to enable the Lambda URL, you need to go to the advanced setting. And here there is an option called enable function URL. Okay, as you can see, it has written that um, use function URL to assign HTTPS endpoint to your Lambda function. So basically this will uh, create, a lambda, create an HTTP endpoint and associate it with this Lambda function. Okay, so let's enable it. And you can also uh, uh, choose the type, authentication type. So let's take this none for this test okay for this demo and then you can also configure the uh, cross origin resource sharing okay for so i'm checking it so by default it will allow you all the origins but later once uh, the function is created you can make it more granular okay so now uh, let's click on create function it will take some time like 30 seconds uh, to create it okay as you can see the lambda function has been created so now let's test so basically as you can see it is accepting the event and creating a 200 response with the body of hello from lambda okay so now let's create a test okay so let's configure um, test event and let's make it empty so or let's have some um, input okay and save it so let's let's test it so as you can see the uh, test is successful and the response from this lambda is hello from lambda okay so now and this is the lambda url okay that got created and associated with this lambda so let's click on this and see whether it's a generate whether it's generating a response or not so as you can see it has created a response hello from lambda Okay, let me zoom it. Hello from Lambda. And let's make a change and see whether it's get reflected or not. So instead of hello from Lambda, let's write hello Pushkar. Okay. And let's uh, deploy it and then test it. And now you can see in the test, it has, show, it has correctly, correctly um, sending the response as hello Pushkar. But now let's see the URL. Let's refresh this and let's see what's the output. So now you can see the output is hello Pushkar. Okay. So basically this, uh, this Lambda function is getting triggered whenever we are making a request to this endpoint. Okay. And this is the HTTPS endpoint and you can configure many properties related to the HTTP endpoint. So let's, um, uh, take a look at that. So this is the Lambda function, uh, Lambda function URL, as you can see, they are marking on a new tag. So basically this is a new feature. It just got launched in April, 2022. So as you can see, um, uh, the course is allowing all regions okay but there is no uh, header uh, by default okay so we can add add it so if we click on the edit function we can add here the http headers that we want to get in the response and also the http headers that need to be included in the http request okay and with there also provides some um, caching uh, default caching so if you uh, want the browser to cache the um, response, you can mention this some timeouts and the maximum time timeout you can 
have it 86400 in seconds okay and the uh, the http method that you can uh, um, that this url uh, or the endpoint can handle is you can choose it either to handle all or these are uh, the six endpoints uh, more than enough to have your cred operations okay and uh, this is for the authentication when you want to use some um, uh, authentication in the request so yeah this is what in this video thanks bye